At Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. The following audio contains the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope these stories inspire you to continue your journey with or join Optavia, but please note they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may contain income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, in leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S., please see the Optavia income disclosure statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. compensation plan. Please note that the income disclosure statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. compensation plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential accrual of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in Health, the Optavia team. Welcome everyone to the Habits of Health Community Time. I am Chantel Flake and I'm an independent certified Optavia coach. And I'm so excited that you've taken the time to join us even during the busy holiday season and to talk with us about healthy habits. So we are going to be talking this time about element 26. And this is one that I'm super passionate about that I am excited about because we have a complete powerhouse lineup tonight of some friends that are going to be speaking on ultra health. And listen to this line, living longer full out. I mean, come on, (laughs) who doesn't want that, right? It's just so exciting. So right here we have the transformational system. This is the how. And this is your guide, Dr. A is your guide, the step-by-step to ultra health. So if you're on new, if you're a guest tonight, get your hands on a copy of this. And the app, I just love how this goes everywhere with you. So these are the tools that we have here in Optavia that are going to help you in this process. So just a little bit about me. Um, I am so passionate about this topic because I have really seen of the shift in my life. So nine years ago, I was a fitness instructor and I was at a healthy BMI, but I'll tell you, it certainly doesn't mean you have a healthy mindset. (laughs) So when I was introduced into this habits of health community, it completely changed my perspective of health. It feels like, well, it felt like that. I no longer had to white knuckle. Maybe some of you guys can relate to this. I just felt like everything was uncertain with my health, but I was able to loosen that grip and today, nine years later, I am a different person. I have confidence in my health because I have the tools for lifelong health. And I had studied and studied. I was really into health. I loved the topic for years and years, even before I found this program. But what's cool about the transformational system that I just showed that we talked about is that I, it took me to the next level. It, it addressed my whole person, me as a whole person, not just that fitness or nutrition. It was everything together. It was all the things. <laughs> it just really put all the parts together for me. So I, I love the habits of health and I've learned over years and years of practice in this program. I've, I've learned them. I have the routines in place. Um, over, over years, I practice them. I have a morning routine. I have a routine of filling up my water bottles in the morning. So I stay hydrated. I eat six balanced, healthy meals. We have dinners for our family that are quick and easy that are grab like lean and greens. Um, I have a sleep schedule. I, I, I've addressed emotional eating where I have learned how to feel my feelings instead of eat my feelings. And I've spent years really getting into this place. But I have to say that I am so far from perfect. So as you're listening tonight, as you're hearing my story, and as you're hearing the story of all of these amazing individuals, I don't want you to forget the fact that it doesn't have to look perfect. And can I be really honest with you guys? (laughs) This, um, just this past month, um, during Thanksgiving, we went um, on an all-inclusive trip to a resort to Mexico. 
And I noticed after we got back from the trip that I was a few pounds up and I, you know what, in the past, I would have kind of freaked out over that. But what is so cool that happened this time is I feel like through this community, I have learned how to handle that situation instead of going straight to judgment or shame or beating myself up over that. I started with awareness. I spent some time thinking. I spent some time thinking about what happened, what's missing, what's next. Have you guys heard of those three questions? And when I asked myself those questions, it took away the drama. <laughs> it, and I was able to focus on the facts of really what happened here. And during this trip, before I left, I put together a nutrition plan for myself. And I felt like I actually did pretty good. I had continued movement on my trip, but I suddenly thought of, you know what? Water was harder to access in Mexico and it was out of my routine. And I was able to course correct right there. It just in a couple days, I was feeling so much better. And I didn't even have to worry about that scale. <laughs> I put the scale away. And so this is, this is just an example, a very, very small example of what that process has looked like for me. It isn't that I never eat sweets. It's not that I live the healthy habits 100% of the time or have like that self-discipline that's just through the roof. That, you know, that's really not what's required. But instead, it requires a constant effort over time and having those tools. That's the key. You have the tools to get back on track. I often say that I strive for B plus average <laughs> because even ultra health, I want to say it's not, it doesn't add up to be a hundred percent. If you took all the healthy, ha healthy habits in the whole world <laughs> and you, you said that's a hundred percent, that's unrealistic. Did you, there, here's a picture of my family. I have five kids. <laughs> Sometimes that's not realistic to stick to routine 100% of the time. Things come up, right? So for myself, I'm speaking for myself, I shoot for high 80s, B plus average, because that for me is, pro, I, I'm progressing. I'm not expecting that, that perfection for me. So I want to give you a little roadmap for tonight. We are really going to be getting into the mindset the skill set and the action of what ultra health looks like. Hopefully your wheels are turning. What is this ultra health thing? What, what would that mean for me? What, what can I improve on? And so there are very specific factors to help you measure your success. So make sure and go to element 26 and read through those. Dr. A has some really great measurements of um, BMI and other things. But in my opinion, what I want to get out of, what I hope you get out of tonight, is the stories, the stories of these amazing individuals that will awaken you to hear what is it that's going on in the mind, the mindset behind it. So what even is ultra health? To me, Dr. A has given us a, a way for us to decide what, what, what this really is. So would you guys like to hear a formula? I, I, I want to I read what's here up on the screen. It says the state of ultra health obtained by, and I got to move this out of the way because I have the PowerPoint, um, of making the decision to play full out with all you have and to organize your life around your daily choices around what's best for your physical, mental, and social well-being. Okay, those three things, physical, mental, and social well-being. I feel like that's such an important qualification to take any choice and put it through the filter of that. What if we were to ask ourselves <laughs> those three questions? How would that change our daily choices? How would that help us decide in the moment when we're stopped challenging choosing? So um, up until this point, you know, we, we've learned through this, the whole, the whole life book, as we've gone through the transformational system, we've learned uh, a practical system for health, haven't we? Would you agree? And maybe if you're just joining, you're, you're just learning some of those basics, but ultra health is what's really going to take us to that next level of daily choices. Dr. A talks about how it's our post doctoral <laughs> in health optimization. That's kind of exciting, right? Are you guys ready for that? I love it. 
Um, I, I just want to tell you a quick personal story, and then we're going to get to our panel tonight. But I grew up in Utah, and I was raised in a ski family. So my dad was a ski racer, and his dream was his whole family on the slopes and pretty much being professional skiers. <laughs> so every year, our family vacay, vacay involved, you guess, you could probably guess what we did for family vacations. We went skiing. And um, so there we were. We were in um, Vail, Colorado for a whole week. And I was about 10 or so. And I had, I felt like I had been improving quite quickly. My dad had been teaching me the skiing. And before we knew it, my dad thought I was ready for a black diamond run. Now, if you know skiing, you know that, that they don't get tougher than black diamonds. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm 10, okay? I'm 10. And he took me up there. And before long, I realized I really had, um, I, it was a little bit more than I had bargained for. And so I had completely broken down. I just started sobbing. I told my dad, I hate skiing. <laughs> I got so upset and I was pretty stubborn. So I ripped off my boots and right in the middle, of, like right mid mountain. And I remember declaring to him that I would, I would be walking down the rest of the mountain and I will see you at the bottom of the lift. <laughs> so I, I tell you this story because, you know, maybe you have felt like me mid mountain. I don't know if anyone can relate to this. Maybe you've had a few choice words about your health and maybe you've wanted to quit. <laughs> but, you know, the good thing about health is you get to decide what that mountain looks like for you. There's no competition. You know, you're going to hear stories tonight about people that are ultra marathoners or, you know, Iron, Iron Man races. You're going to hear people that you know, have accomplished these amazing things, but you get to decide, Dr. Hay tells us, you get to decide what that ultra health looks like for you. And there's no rush. There's always another mountain that's available on our level. And so taking the time to stop the walking down the hill too, um, I just want to say that that's, that's always an option. Maybe you're stubborn like me, that you just, you just want to take off the skis and you just want to start walking. And so if I could give you some advice tonight, it would be to not quit. And I know that so <laughs> you've heard that advice before, but to me, what that means is to never stop improving and trying that one healthy habit one healthy habit at a time. Does that sound familiar? Because we say that a lot. One healthy habit at a time is the way that you're going to progress towards that. And so I am so grateful my dad wasn't scared of my stubbornness because he still took me on ski trips and he continued to honor my own process for learning. And so now I love skiing. Luckily, it didn't ruin it for me. And it's the biggest treat in the world to have a day on the slopes. Even, even those big black diamond slopes, I love it. But it comes with practice, right? It's those hours. I think about how many hours, how many weeks have I spent on the slopes? And sometimes it's, it's okay to go back to that bunny slope. Dr. A talks about, they actually, he brings up the same analogy in, in, in our life book, because I know how much he loves skiing too. Um, so I, I just, I just want to encourage you today to think, what does ultra health look like for me? Just start asking these questions. What would it look like? What, how, how are you, and to be inspired tonight from these stories. So I am so excited to bring on the panel today. Um, first up, we have the amazing Russ Scarce. And we're going to go on um, through this panel. We're going to then have Gina Eccles. We're going to have Matt Ingstrom, Mary Ellen Laranger, and Dina and David Asensio. And we are so excited to hear what I want you guys to focus on today. As you listen, is the mindset again. Just a reminder, what does it look like behind the scenes? We see these pictures. We see Russ doing um, an amazing trick on his bike right here. <laughs> And, um, and, and, and being this ultra athlete, but what comes first? What is in the mind of, of an ultra health person? So Russ, take it away. We're so excited to hear from you. Hello, everybody. I just want to say thank you for uh, just being here with us and listening to these stories of where we came from and where we're going. It's so important that we start with letting you know that 
achieving this level of ultra health, a lot of people in your life are going to be confused. They're not going to understand your desire. But how many times are we often just misunderstood because of our desire to be healthy? When you go to that next level, people are also going to, under, they're going to understand your desire, but all the work you're putting in, they're going to question that. But I encourage you, you do you and you continue to chase this. When I first entered into my health journey, I was rather uh, obese. I had a blood pressure that was double, if not triple, what ultra health is categorized as. My doctor said, you're going to die. You're not going to see your children graduate from high school. And that in itself was monumental impact in my journey. We became coaches. And uh, my wife, Tracy, who many of you know, we decided we needed to get healthy for our children. Now, through this period of time, we lost our weight. I lost 65 pounds. My wife lost 82 pounds. And we continued to coach. Now, as you become fit and healthy, all of a sudden, food, it's not necessarily to get those sensations of, wow, that was amazing. It was more so that food is fuel for me now. I chose to do different types of exercises that range from high intensity training, high intensity interval training, excuse me, um, mo most recently mountain bike riding. But the continuous factor is that I'm trying new things that are going to get myself and my health to a higher level. Now, the misunderstood part, why do I want to do that? Well, there's many factors to it. One, I want to be a better husband. I want to be a better father. I want to be a better friend. But a lot of it comes down to I want to be a better coach. When I'm representing an ultra level healthy lifestyle, I'm hoping to attract individuals that are seeking to be better. And in our conversations, because it's all about connection and relationships, we're able to talk to people, explain to them that you might not be here now, but there's a chance one day that you can be. But we need to start here and get you healthy. So through it all, I'm definitely a work in progress. The husband part, the father part, the health coach part, all of those I'm working towards. But I just want to let you know that put a plan in place, read through the healthy habits. They're going to fix your mind. Focus on that and you too can achieve ultra health. Well, I'm so excited to be here. I'm Gina Eccles and um, thrilled to share just a little bit of my health journey with you. Um, I came to this program um, with a slew of children. I have seven kids and um, my son was 13 months old and the baby weight was just not falling off. Everything I had done in the past in order to get the weight off um, was not working. You know, I was running myself. I was counting calories. I was I was figuring all my macros. I was doing all the things, all the things I knew. And yet it just wasn't working. And all these people around me were melting away on this program. And I reached out to my coach and said, I'm in coach, put me in the game. I've got to do something. I need to lose this weight. And so I um, ended up losing 65 pounds, feeling amazing. But I have to tell you guys, like I had ridden a roller coaster my whole life my whole life since I was nine years old of trying to live in that zone of optimal health. And so I needed to prove it to myself that I could do this. And so I went through that transition and I moved over to the optimal health plan and I enjoyed and loved the optimal health plan and I was satisfied with it and I was feeling so good. And then one day something just clicked inside of me and I realized, look, as a health coach, I am supporting so many people in their health journey. I am some, I'm supporting so many other coaches and training them and I have to hold myself to a higher level. And I began to realize that I was going to lead this ship. And if I'm going to lead this ship, I want a whole bunch of people following my example. And my example is just like that of a, of a well-paid athlete. Look, Michael Jordan shows up or showed up on the court. He had practiced and practiced and practiced. He was paid so well because of that. And so one that is literally the mindset that shifted for me. And I made a decision 
And I think that is the key tonight. If you are someone who's been sitting in that optimal health zone and you're going, why would I, why would I click? Why would I make the change? I would challenge you to make the decision to go all in with your health, not just partially, not just toe dipping, but all in. And so can I encourage you guys today that you begin to chase that health dream at a, at a much higher level because fast forward almost 10 years later, I am healthier today than I was the day that I sat on that, that I got on that scale and figured out, wow, I did this, I got there, and you can too. Hey everybody, my name is Matt Engstrom. Uh, it's good to be here with all of you tonight. Look, I'm gonna back up a little bit to when I was a kid starting this story. Um, I didn't know that Chantel was gonna put the picture on the left in there. Too funny. Well, um, when I was a kid, I was the big kid. I was the, I was that person. And uh, my nickname was Haas. And if any of you are old enough to remember, because I am the oldest person on this panel, is that uh, that was Dan Blocker in the TV show Bonanza. And he was the big guy. And they called him Haas because of his size. That was my name that I grew up with. Now, fast forward, I get in, I, I get a little bit older. I go through high school and I decide to lose some weight. I did it. I actually did it. I lost about 60 pounds. I caught my wife. We got married which we've married almost 42 years. And she decided that for the next, till I was 51, that she was, her love language to me was to feed me well and take great care of me, which she always has. But at 51, my health started to deteriorate significantly. And my doctor who introduced me to Optavia said, here comes the pills, this, 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 and this. I'd belong to an athletic club in Portland, Oregon, for I think 33 years at that time. And I couldn't out exercise the fork. And here comes Optavia. My health had changed. My physicality had changed tremendously. And then I decided to pick these up. Looked a little different 11 years ago, but I went to work in here. What happened in the Habits of Health Transformation System became the glue. I worked on my sleep. I worked on, on physical exercise consistently, even though I had that one pretty well in place. I worked on, on lowering my stress, and that's what I have to work on still. But I worked on all the key macro habits. And so here I am at this point in time of my life with a physicality at almost 63 years and a couple months, that is nothing I could have ever imagined growing up. And it, and it didn't happen till I embraced the Habits of Health system. I could have lost the weight. I could have lost the weight, which I did. And I could have ignored this. But as I implemented the system, the foundation got solid. And simple consistency over the last 11 years of, of of eating right, eating six times a day, consistently exercising, consistently uh, hydrating, consistently getting better sleep, working on my stress. All of those are always still, in, I'm still contending in for every one of those. But at almost 63, my physical is at a place that's never been in it in my whole life. I'm not perfect. It edges up and down a little bit, but I'm always contending consistently. And I'm always learning. I reread the whole section on ultra health this morning again, again for today. And the one thing that I will tell you that stands out at this point in time, not only is the physical piece way better than it's ever been in my whole life, but what's really better is this, how well my brain works today. I mean, I fire on all eight cylinders really consistently. And it's because of this. And I don't mean to keep going to there. But as I have continued to invest in myself and press forward on my health and be consistent, I, I agree with everything Dr. A says. 
the ability to have a high, high, high quality of health and life for the remainder of years, which will be extended, I'm excited about. So let me recommend one thing to you tonight as I finish for Ultra Health, and that is dive into your life book into the Habits of Health Transformation System. It's the game changer and um, set a goal and work towards that which you just what your desired outcome is. Thanks so much. I'm so happy to be with you here tonight. I'm Mary Ellen and I've just been so inspired by listening to all these stories. And my story is a little bit different. I have been an Ironman endurance athlete for over 10 years. And for those of you that don't know what an Ironman is, it's um, a crazy thing some crazy people do where it's a uh, 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, followed by a full marathon. And so I've done countless um, Ironman and half Ironman distance and marathons and uh, you know all kinds of races, but yet I was 25 pounds overweight. And uh, I crossed so many finish lines in my life, but yet I wasn't able to cross my own starting line in terms of my nutrition. And I didn't need the discipline and the motivation to work out or exercise, but I did not have the same discipline when it came to my food. And so I hopped on program about two years ago, lost about 25 pounds and the rest is history. Um, I had never ever felt better in my life. And one of the things that program did was it restored the balance of exercise in my life. See, I was putting a little bit too much emphasis on the value of exercise. And we all know exercise is part of our program and our healthy lifestyle, but I was looking at it as the sole means of weight loss. And I simply could not do it alone without the food piece and out the food piece and, and how to look at food as fuel for my body. Um, and so what is, you know, what is my, my reality look like today? I still rely on the habits of health. I rely on the habits of health to fuel me, to keep me lean, to keep me mentally sharp and mentally focused. And I know that no matter what training or racing or exercise I do, nothing else can matter without having the food piece first and the nutrition piece first. Um, and I love moving my body now and exercising now, but I do it because I want to. And it's because I, um, it, it, it's part of living a healthy lifestyle, but I will never ever again rely on it for, for weight loss alone. And I'm just so grateful to have this quest for ultra health. And so what does the quest for ultra health look like for me now? Um, and I might not be training and racing. I have seasons where I don't train and race, but yet I still rely on my habits of health to fuel me forward. And so my quest for ultra health looks like this. I ask myself every day, how can I be better today? How can I beat myself, which I'm my own competition? How can I be 1% better today than I was yesterday? And so I'm always looking at ways to improve, whether it's working on a habit of health I've maybe gotten a little bit lax on or um, going to the next level in my fitness. I'll be running the New York City Marathon when that comes back in reality. I earned a slot this year um, and hopefully next year I'll be running that um, and I'll be ready when I do thanks to the habits of health um, and my quest for ultra health, which continues guys, no matter the season, no matter the year, no matter the day, I'm contending for that ultra health every single day. And my food and my fuel and the way, what I fill my body with will always, always come first. Thank you for letting me share tonight. Hi guys, uh, we are Deanna and David Asensio. And this is not something that I share often, but my background uh, before becoming an Optavia coach was actually in alternative healthcare. And my goal for that was to have longevity, not just qual uh, quantity in life, not just more years in my life, but actually more quality in that life, more life in my years, right? Not more years of life, but more life in my years. Um, the hardest part for me though, personally, was the nutrition piece. So I was talking about it during the day, but I was not doing it. Um, I'm a sugar addict. I was, I still am today. I'm a sugar addict. I was majorly dehydrated. I was a meal skipper. I was eating healthy food, but I was eating too much of it. I was also killing myself, spending hours and hours and hours in the gym, but still just like Mary Ellen, carrying around about 20 extra pounds. And so four years ago, I was introduced to Optavia. And for me, the nutrition piece was a game changer 
because what happened is I got my nutrition in place. I started drinking more water. I started fueling myself every two to three hours. And now at 53 years old today, I feel better. I look better. I have more energy than most people half my age. And I recently went to the doctor, got some blood work done. And he even told me, he goes, girl, you are as healthy as they come, even than most 20 and 30 year olds that we see. And guys, I have a background or I have a family history of diabetes, uh, heart disease on both sides. And so this for me was super important. And today I do, I still do all those things. Even though I lost those 20 pounds four years ago, I still fuel my body every two to three hours, but I'm not killing myself in the gym. I'm not spending hours and hours there. I like to walk. I like to hike. I like to play water sports. Um, I stay active with our two teen daughters. We have two girls uh, that still live here at home. And guys, I am far from perfect. I want to share that with you. Um, I still like sugar more than I like the gym. <laughs> but my goal, my long-term goal is my priority. And now fast forward, as an Optivia coach, I've been for four years, I have fulfillment of purpose. I am absolutely blessed that I get to focus my life on what matters most. Okay, and so it does no good if I only keep this secret, if I keep this ultra health and longevity and quality in my years to myself, it does no good. So I get to focus on what matters most to me and to my family, which is my faith, my family, and sharing this gift of healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy finances with others. Yeah, you know, and I, uh, my story is, I, I wish I could, I could tell you, you know, like, I've always been this way. And I wish actually we shared some of the before pictures that we had, but I'll tell you what you don't see is the guy before program who just low self-esteem, you know, my, my, I, didn't, I had 25 pounds of lube, but it didn't matter. Could have might as well been like another hundred because emotionally I was just worn down. And I love where Russ started. You know, he talked about being, you know, that dad and that's his motivation. I gotta tell you, and I don't know about for you, but I'm pretty sure I speak for a lot of men out there, the husbands and dads. For me, it was like, I wanted to be that fully present dad, but I just wasn't, I, I just didn't have the motivation. I just didn't feel like, I just, I just couldn't be, I wasn't happy, I wasn't there, didn't have the energy. And I'll tell you, ultra health isn't just physical, right? Matt talked about the mindset thing and just the brain health, but it's also about experiences. When you get to a certain place in your journey, and many of you there, but you will, it's not a matter of if, it's when. Right? And when you get there, and you have those experiences. And one key experience for me, and that's the joy of life, having experiences. When For me, one key one was about three years ago when I stepped away from corporate America in my former executive role to come along and full-time health coach. Just prior, we went on a, a trip. And anyway, there was this, this hike. And we have teen, teen daughters. And I don't know about you. If you got teens, you know they always complain, right? And so complain the entire time. But I really wanted to do this hike with my, my oldest daughter. She was 14 at the time. And we're in Mount Zion. And the hike is Angel Landing. Now, I don't know if you know about Angel's Landing, but it's a ridgeline hike. But to get there, you've got to hike at least about two to three miles. And it's a steady incline hike. It's not super hard, but hey, if you haven't been doing things for a while, it's, it's exhausting just to get to the main hike. Well, anyway, so we're going there and she's complaining the whole time, but, but I'm like, I'm feeling good. And I'm like, wow, you know, it's amazing. I couldn't do this before. Anyway, we get to the, we get to the hike, Angel's Landing, we get to the top, the ridge line, and she's standing there and she turns to me and we're looking at this overview and she goes, dad, thank you. This is awesome. This has been one of the best experiences ever. Oh, Oh my gosh, my dad heart just exploded. But I wouldn't have been able to do that had I not gotten my body and my mindset on track and just having like Matt talked about those focus goals, right? But I wanna tell you, and I hope you take away all these key gems to help you because if we were able to do it, so can you. But here's the key that's been, was the accelerator for me. And that was deciding to partner with our coach to help pay this forward to others because all these people, we would never met them had we not come together. And Matt, I want to be like that guy. I'm 51. <laughs> Holy smokes. Talk about setting the bar. Love you guys. I hope this helps. Bye. So amazing. Thank you so much for these inspirational stories.
was that not inspiring? So I want you guys to think about what your next step is. You've heard <laughs> from these people. What does ultra health look like for you? Talk to your coach. Talk to the person who invited you to see what those next steps are. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Just a reminder, don't forget to connect and continue your education in our community. So if you aren't receiving those text reminders, um, here's how you do that. You go ahead and, and text and receive those. Also remember you can access these playbacks and past elements on the YouTube channel and also the podcast channel. So join us next week as we are so honored to hear from the Valentines in our hope and health night. So don't miss that. So thank you again, everyone for taking the time during this busy season of your life to really invest in you. We'll see you guys next week. At Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. The prior audio contained the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope those stories inspire you to continue your journey with or to consider joining Optavia. But please note that they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the US or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may have contained income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S., Please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan. Please note that the Income Disclosure Statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. Compensation Plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential accrual of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health. The Octavia team.